Happy Thursday, Mustangs. I'm Jasir. And I'm Angelo. Welcome back to The Rich Report. In today's news, seniors, your class of 23 days tomorrow. Make sure to wear your senior shirt or crown to celebrate. During lunch, come to room 400 to pick an otter pop and celebrate the end of summer. Students, please remember that leaving the school after during the school day is strictly prohibited. Because we have a closed campus, students who attend from 7 a.m. to 1.11 p.m. shall not leave the school grounds for any reason, be it to go grab food, hang out in the parking lot, or any other activity that would bring you off campus, please be sure to go before or after school. Please respect this rule as it's for your safety and the safety of your peers. Our homecoming week class competition is coming. Are you a freshman with a killer serve, a sophomore ready with the assist, a junior or senior with a strong spike? Make sure to come out for our informational meeting in the library this Friday, September 23rd during your lunch. This is our class competition for homecoming week and we need your help and support to win. No hard feelings when the sophomores whip your old man team, Jasir. Okay, so now you guys have to win so I don't look stupid. All right, sophomores? For you seniors graduating in 2023, the Nevada Promise Scholarship is now open and available to you. Your tuition will be paid in full for three years at CSN with this scholarship. Make sure that you check out how to apply and learn more about the scholarship at www.csn.edu. Make sure to apply before the end of October. Seems like the corner will be hosting a lot of prestigious guests this week. Today's visit by the Navy ROTC has been postponed. We will let you know when it has been rescheduled. Tomorrow, a rep will be making an appearance from Northwest Career College. They offer 14 programs in business, medical, and legal studies. Some programs can be completed in nine short months. There, there are a lot of great opportunities to take advantage of, so make sure to sign up the day before and create an e-hall pass. For clubs and activities, there is a new student union for those who want to join. The Latinx Student Union is a new Shadow Ridge club for Latin or Hispanic students to meet with each other. The first meeting will be held today from 1.30 to 2.30 in room 821. Go over and learn more about the club if you're interested. Mustangs, are you interested in mountain biking? Do you like cycling with friends? If so, then this is the club for you. The first mountain bike club informational meeting is on Tuesday, September 27th, right after school in room 316. Scan the QR code to sign up or you can stop by Mr. Stalky's room. All are welcome and we help I mean we hope to see you on the trail. To any of my upperclassmen, that would be juniors and seniors, who want to attend HBCU, the historically black college and uni university recruitment fair for this year will happen this Saturday, September twenty fourth, and span from ten AM to three PM. You can find out more about this from the Counselor Corner website. Have you considered joining the medical field? Then HOSA, Health Occupation Students of America, is a good organization to train with. They have nursing, athletic training, EMT, physical, tra physical therapy, or courses for becoming a doctor. They will be holding their first meeting today at 1.30 p.m. in room 316. Scan the QR code to learn more. Go learn more about these health fields. The Shadow Ridge Garden Club needs people that, that can care for clubs, so not me but maybe you. Come out to the garden club as they are finally receiving their hydroponic machines and kits. They meet as many people as possible who are interested in rolling out this awesome program. It's a great opportunity to learn how to use these machines and help terraform the land so that we can start an orchard and vegetable garden. You can plan fundraising events, learn more about gardening and gardening tech, and enjoy the pioneering the first ever Shadow Ridge Garden. If this at all strikes your interest, Please meet in Miss Lynn's room, Portable 12, after school this Monday. You will be staying until around 3.30 p.m., so make sure your schedule is clear. Let's all come out and give the Gardening Club a warm welcome to make sure that they can keep making Shadow Ridge a greener place for all the years to come. You know how sticky it gets? Like we weren't supposed to come up with something this clean. <laughs> you know, like something happened. Students, we have, we have our student section back. It's great news, but there are some rules to follow. Hey Mustangs, we have a huge announcement to make. We're giving our student section back! Woo! And we have a couple standards that you should follow so we get to keep it. Mustang! Rumble! What are you doing, Come man? On. Get off the seat. 
if you're in the student section, do not step on the blue bleachers. Stay off the blue. <laughs> Stop throwing your trash. Make sure all your trash ends up in the trash can. Keep the pathway clear for any moving traffic. Let's follow seniority. Seniors in the front. Woo! Then juniors. Woo! Then sophomores. Woo! And then our freshmen. Woo! Just remember that all students visiting have to go to the visitor side of the stands. Show your support for one of the best and brightest cheer teams on the planet. They've recently come out with a new sponsored shirt that you could wear to support our amazing cheer team. Walk, run, or even better, backflip on over to Mrs. Jordan's classroom 205 with your cash and receive your shirt immediately. This isn't the time for hesitation, so go over and buy before they run out of your size. Do you need sustenance to survive? Well, unless you undergo photosynthesis, you can have tomorrow's lunch. We will have cheese pizza, chicken salsa wrap, or turkey and ham and cheese sandwich. And if you still think that absorbing sunlight is better than that food, then you should remember that tomorrow the Stern and Soar will be serving canes. So if you're anything like me, you should scrounge up some quarters so that you can afford the Texas toast. Speaking of lunch, over in another video productions class, some amazing students created a video establishing the rules during lunchtime. What a lovely lunchroom. Oh my. Oh no. This isn't any way to behave. Oh please kids, don't stand there. The floor is very filthy. But what if there's nowhere to sit? Please ask to borrow an unused chair or take one from the stack. But what if there are no seats? Then please go and sit outside. People need to get around the cafeteria and there is more room for you to sit in the quad. Students, please take your trash to the trash can before leaving. Another rule of thumb, don't play tag during lunch. There are people around you you might bump into and you yourself might get hurt. Perfect. Remember, throw your trash out. Don't stand in the lunchroom, don't sit on the floor, find a seat in the lunchroom or the quad, don't run around or play tag, and lastly, don't wear hats or hoods. And if you're still unoccupied after school today, or just want to procrastinate on your schoolwork like me, Game Club will be meeting today in room 905, Cyber Club will be in room 327, Ladies Archery will be in room 902, and Women's Activist Club will be in room 921. In sports, men's soccer at Legacy, varsity playing at 4.30 p.m., and JV at 6. Men's and, men and women's tennis is at Desert Pines at 3 p.m., and B and JV football, home versus Sierra Vista, B is at 4, and JV is at 6. Hope to see you there. Well, Mustangs, that's all we have for you today. Don't forget to succeed and excel, and thank you so much for watching.